Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost Mass key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem to calculate a shorter side of a right angle triangle. Now in the previous video we encountered Pythagoras theorem and Pythagoras theorem applies to right angle triangles and it allows us to find one of the lengths of the triangle if we know two of the others. So if we call the two shorter sides A and B, it doesn't matter which way round, and the longest side, known as the hypotenuse of the triangle, was C, then Pythagoras' theorem was that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So in words, that's basically saying that if we take each of the shorter sides of the right angle triangle, square them and add them together, like we have here, then that is equal to the longest side, the hypotenuse squared. So for example, if you take the two shorter sides squared, you have the 7 squared and the 24 squared, and you add them together, that will give you 25 squared. But let's have a triangle with different sides. Let's just say that we had that this was x, this was 12, and this was 13. Now let's label our shorter sides a and b. So we can make the x a, for example, and the 12 b, but I could have labelled the a and b the other way around, doesn't matter, and the longest side is always the c. The hypotenuse is always the c, the variable that's on its own on one side of this equation. Now let's just substitute a, b and c into our formula. We've got a squared, which is x squared, plus the b squared, which is 12 squared, and that is equal to c squared, the 13 squared. Now let's just simplify each of the bits of the equation x squared plus or well, 12 squared is 144. Remember that 12 squared means 12 times 12. 13 squared means 13 times 13, that's 169. And, and then we want to get x on its own. Well, x is being squared, then we're adding 144 to get to 169. To get rid of that plus 144, we subtract 144 from each side. So that gets rid of the plus 144 on the left-hand side, so we just get x squared left, and then 169 minus 144 is equal to 25. Now x is being squared, we want to get rid of that squared, so we do the opposite, which is square root both sides. The square root gets rid of that squared, leaving just x, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the final answer is 5. The answer is not always a whole number, by the way. You might have ended up with a decimal, and that's absolutely fine.